Hi, I'm Jonathan, and this is B Movie Madness. The movie I'm going to talk about today, well, I got a new title from the Basement Videos line from SOV Horror. Now, what is that title? Find out after the intro. I'm really glad you came back. Um, the title I'm going to talk about today is, um, like I said in the opening, is part of the Basement Videos line at SOVHorror.com. These are limited edition uh, DVD releases that are usually only available for like two months. So this one will be only available for June and July. So you got to the end of July to pick it up. But what is the title? Well, it's the one, the only, the legendary Joseph Vogley's Specimen 6. Look at that cover. Bam. Experiment in Bloody Terror. Now, what is Specimen 6 about? Well, it's a slasher film unlike any other. You are unlike any you've seen before. Dr. Mercer, it's about Dr. Mercer Gray is determined to create the ultimate weapon that will shatter all boundaries of science and the supernatural. Destroying the lives of many is of no consequence to this mad scientist as long as she reaches her nefarious goal. Specimen 6 is a slasher film that probes beyond the doorways of good and evil, beyond the realms of heaven and hell, a horror so immense that all who encounter it will fall prey to its darkness. Now, um, the, what's, what's unusual about this one is um, it's told in six chapters. So, I'm going to review it like I review an anthology film. I'm going to go chapter by chapter, let you know what I thought of each individual chapter, and if I like the movie as a whole. So chapter one of Specimen 6 is called Travis, and it's about a man named Travis who seemingly lives a normal life, has a normal job, but there's something a little off about Travis. He likes to abduct women, chain them up in his basement, and torture them. Now, from the start, this one actually had my interest right from the start because I had no idea it was going to open like that. Um, at first, when I was kind of, when I put it in and it kind of opened it with this guy going to the office and living a seemingly normal life, I was kind of thrown off. Not not thrown off in a bad way, in a good way, because I was like, okay, which direction is this one going to take? Because I look at the cover art here, and I'm like, how does that get to that? And soon enough, you get where Joseph is going with this story, and how he's approaching this story. And I gotta say, I gotta give him huge props for doing that, you know, because it takes to a viewer like me, someone who's seen these movies a million times, takes them off guard and makes them, you know, go, huh, this person is doing something a little unusual. And I really liked the first chapter. Um, the best part I thought was Joseph Vogley himself plays the lead character of Travis. And when he um, is in his basement mode, when he becomes this gross, sleazy serial killer, he does a really great job at playing that particular part. Um, he's believably really just gross and sleazy and you just really are disgusted by him so i gotta give him huge props for that he did a really good job um but this one grabbed my attention right from the start and that's a good it was a great way this is a great way to grab the anybody you know any if you've seen anything a million times it says right in the back it's unlike you've seen before right away i can say it definitely is unlike any i've seen before chapter two is called sinister mysteries and it's about a group of um it's a trio of podcasters who go around and, you know, go to um, talk about mysteries around different places. And they're going to a campground where 20 years prior there was a bunch of murders that were never solved. So they go out there to camp and do an episode for their podcast. Well, soon enough, Specimen 6 pops up and he decides to, you know, welcome him or welcome them to Camp Hollyoaks. Um, this one... Of all the chapters in the um, movie, this one is probably the most slashery. This is definitely a classic slasher in a woods story. You know, done much shorter, of course. But it, it does really nail that classic slasher in the woods kind of you know, tone and feel. And it, and it has a couple of good kills. They're, all of the kills are pretty gory, but the best kill definitely is the disembowelment involving the sign. It's the one that's on the cover right here. Um, that's definitely the best kill of this um chapter um the mask is cool i actually really like how the killer looks 
and I thought all the acting for the most part is decent. You know, what these kind of movies are going to get some decent acting and some not very decent acting, but, you know, for the most part, I think everyone's trying and doing a decent job. Now, Chapter 3, it's called The Experiment, and it's about a young scientist who was working under Dr. Marissa Gray, who, um, while working with one of the specimens, gets infected with a virus that ultimately makes her go crazy at home and causes her to start murdering people. Um, once again, was not expecting the third chapter in this movie to be about someone getting infected and becoming, you know, becoming basically just batshit insane like a monster and killing everybody. Um, I was not expecting that. You know, the first story was like a serial killer kind of thing. Chapter two was a slasher thing. This one being like an infection virus kind of movie, kind of like 28 Days Later, but, you know, more compact. Um, and it's actually really well done. I thought that all the actors did a really good job. It's really, it has some couple gory kills, particularly a, a stabbing kill in the bathroom. Um, and the makeup effects for the, you know, infected look was really well done. I actually really enjoyed Chapter 3 a lot. Um, so far, like, all three chapters have been just psh, excellent. Now, Chapter 4 is called The Psychic. This one is about a um, uh, woman who, uh, her sister was one of the characters in Chapter 2. And she wants to know what actually happened to her. So she goes to a psychic, and the psychic sees the vision of um, what happened in Chapter 2. The specimen 6 killing um, the, her sister and all her friends and all that. Um, this one, this one's, this, it's not, this one's not as good as chapter one, two, and three, but this one's actually fairly interesting because it goes and it, it introduces some new things into the story. For one thing, you find out that specimen six can actually enter people's dreams, which is really interesting because I was not expecting that because this movie keeps on surprising me with each chapter. It's not entertaining as the first chapters, um, first three chapters, but it's, really still a fun little chapter that introduces some really interesting things into the story. And I thought the dream angle was actually pretty interesting. Now, was it like first three chapters? I was not expecting it. Now, chapter five is called Unbound, I believe. I have them written down somewhere. Unbound. This one is the shortest of the six chapters. Um, it takes place on four security cameras. Um... Like, the first security camera is Specimen 6 inside the laboratory that's sedated. Um, um, camera 2 is um, Dr. Marissa Gray. Camera 3 is, like, the other side of the room of Specimen 6. And um, camera 4 is outside, like, you see a gate or a fence. Um, this is, like I said, the shortest, so there's not much to it. So, in regard of, if I had to place it, you know, which one least our favorite to least favorite. This one would be my least favorite simply because it has it's the shortest. But it does do something very interesting. It ties into chapter three in an interesting way. Don't want to quite spoil that. Um, but I was at, uh, it was real surprising how they tied back into number three. I will say that all six chapters are not told in a chronic, uh, um, the, it jumps back and forth in time. So they're not told in order necessarily. Like, Chapter 2 is 20 years after, I think, the events of the story. But, um, yeah, it ties into Chapter 3 really well. I like how all, all the stories really actually tie into each other really well. And not in ways you ex expect. But this one does it in a very interesting way. Now, Chapter 6, the final chapter. This one is probably the most surreal. Um, I'm trying not to go into super spoilers for this review, but as of now, it's too late. I've really gone already gone into super a lot of spoilers so it don't matter but this one involves specimen six being sent to hell um and it's very surreal and very david lynchian um and when you watch it you'll get what i mean by that it's very surreal um much like how the movie the began with taking you know taking me by surprise how it ended taking me by took me ugh, took me by surprise because um, I was not expecting that much, like, how it began. It's really, you know, it really is a slasher, unlike I've seen before. But Chapter 6 was pretty entertaining. I really liked the visuals. They went for black and white for hell. Um, and it was really entertaining, and it had features, characters from other chapters. So, like, it, it, it ties in with the first five chapters. Um, and it ends it on a, you know, 
to be kind of a to be continued now. Um, I'll get into that when I get to the extras. But um, overall, how did I feel about Specimen Six altogether? I was I was really surprised by Specimen Six because I wasn't really sure what to expect from it because it says on the back, unlike anything I've seen before, slasher movie wise. So I was like, well, this is gonna be something I enjoy. Is it going to be something that tried too hard to be different? But no, this movie actually did a really good job of delivering the slasher movie goods while giving the viewers something very different. And taking, it took me by surprise quite a few times. Mostly in the first chapter and the last chapter. Um, and I like how everything tied together pretty well. The acting for the most part, there was good acting, there was bad acting. But, you know, like I said with low budget movies... You take it. It's it comes with the you know, comes with the package. You know, everyone's gonna be a perfect actor, but I didn't find anybody distractingly bad. Where I was like, oh, get the hell off the screen. Um, I thought Joseph Wogley as Travis did. He was probably my favorite actor in the movie simply because I thought he really nailed his role. But Ruby Solis, I believe her name is, who played Doctor Mercy Grace, she did a great job as well. She's kind of like the main villain of the story besides Specimen Six. She created Specimen Six, so. Um, there's certain details of the story I didn't get into because I want people to see it for themselves and how everything really connects together. But it's a very interesting and very entertaining different slasher movie. And I do highly recommend, especially if you're a slasher junkie, I think you will really enjoy this. Um, very, very, very unique. And it definitely delivers on the unique part. Um, unlike the Eller Basement video releases, which I think the most they had were trailers, this one actually has quite a few extras. Um, it has a director's audio commentary with Joseph Wogley. Um, this is, it's a pretty um, informative little track. He talks about how it started off as a book called Experiment 6. It ultimately morphed into the movie, working with Joe Sherlock, which if you're familiar with my reviews, you know who Joe Sherlock is. Joe Sherlock, Joe, Joe Sherlock is. Um, the cast, the crew, how certain effects were done. And his ideas for um, a Specimen 6 sequel that he is working on. And he talks about the stuff that weren't really explained in the first one that he's going to introduce in the second one. Like I said, I'll let you listen to this commentary track yourself. It has a lot of great information about the making, um, the making of this movie. Um, also included are the video journals of Dr. Mercy Gray. These are detailed videos about her experiments. So if you were a fan of the movie and you want to know a little bit more, watch those um, video journals. And it comes with not one, but two radio plays. A very specimen since Christmas in Grey Manor, A Christmas Ghost Story. And what these are, as I said, they're radio plays, and they play over the movie like a commentary track. So the movie basically has three commentary tracks. And they go into um, more detail about the world of Specimen 6, and they're very charming and fun, so I highly recommend listening to those if you're a fan of the movie. It comes with one, not one, but two bonus shorts, Let's Play Dolls and Time to Science. Um, I enjoyed both. The, my favorite of the two was Let's Play Dolls. I thought that one was the most entertaining of the two. It also comes with behind the scenes gallery and original trailers. Um, here's the back. Try to get a good picture of the album. Like I said, the inside. It comes with alternate artwork. Right here. Um, I, I like this artwork a lot, but I have to say that they're definitely the the intestines spewing out of the stomach is the better option. Here's the new start. Like I said before. This will be available only available for June and July. So if you really want to watch this, I recommend going to sovhorror.com and ordering this before it goes out of print. Um, so I do recommend that. Um, I will put a link to everything down below. Um, there will be a trailer at the end. And if you want a badass t-shirt like this, once again, go to sovhorror.com. Direct links for all this will be down below. Um, I guess... Something fell in the background. I ain't really shooting this. Um, I got a few more reviews in the works. I got a new SOV horror review coming in the next week or so that will has a certain Estevez relative in it. Everyone's favorite Estevez, Joe. Um, a movie called Minds of Terror. Or, is it Minds of Terror? Yeah, Minds of Terror. I was going to say Minds of Horror. But that one will be coming in the next week or so. So look out for that. Um, this is my last basement video is one for now um if i have another one in the future i will definitely you know get on that one more quickly so um if you like my channel give me a thumbs up you know click subscribe and let me down know down below what is your favorite 
um, unusual slasher movie. If you have an unusual slasher movie, that Fernando slasher movie is just not. It's very unusual. <laughs> tell me down below, or tell me your favorite slasher movie. You know, whatever. Um, for everyone who watched, thank you, thank you, Tony, for sending me sending this to me so I can watch it and give it a review. Thank you, Joseph Logley, for entertaining me for an hour and twenty five minutes. I truly appreciate that. Um, and that's it, I think. Um, once again, I'm Jonathan. It's Beam Movie Madness. Thanks for watching.